It's that time again. Tokyo Treat. Another unboxing video. This one's Tokyo Treat. Volume 1, January 2016. Now clearly this isn't January. I'm a little bit late. I know I was out of town. But now that I've got this, I can't wait to show you guys what is inside this box. Lots of Japanese candy and treats that I can't wait to try out and taste for you guys to witness and watch and enjoy. And there's three different tiers you can buy. I am lucky enough to have the premium crate, so I will be able to show you all three tiers in order. And then from there, we will do the tasting, which should be very fun. Also comes with a little tiny magazine type of thing, which shows you what everything is inside the box and what tiers they all have. And it even comes with some instructions for the DIY kit that is involved. This is Yokai Watch themed caramel corn. Uh, but it's not just any caramel corn. Caramel corn? Caramel corn. This is actually, apparently, ice cream flavored, possibly? Ice cream flavored caramel corn with a Yokai Watch character on it. I think I got Butler, um, if I know my characters. I don't really watch Yokai Watch. But I watched it once and this character was on there, so <laughs> I can attest to that. That one might be a little bit weird. I'm guessing a vanilla E caramel E. The tyrant habanero who came back. This is actually something that I've had before. Um, I've been to different shops, Asian markets and stuff, and I've actually bought these before because I love habanero uh, peppers and the taste of habanero. These are kind of like Fritos style corn chips, but they're a little bit different and I can't wait to try them again. I used to really like these when I could get them, so I can't wait. Ramune Pokemon 5 pack. Now this is humongous. They're little tiny, uh, I guess, Ramune flavored uh, treats like candies and they've got different flavors like melon and pineapple and cola and grape and things like that so they should be interesting and apparently well it says that I can maybe find a hidden character inside I don't know if that was just like you know false advertising or what but there might be a hidden character inside of this huge pack and so I guess we'll see when I open them up Pokemon wafers now these there are apparently 24 different ones that you can get um, and they are shaped like different characters from Pokemon. Um, now, this apparently has a rare chance to be Pikachu. Um, I don't know which ones are rare and which ones aren't. Either way, I'm going to eat it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I can't wait to see what this is all about. Duh! This is apparently a New Year's tradition, is to have the Puku Puku Thai fish called Bream or something during New Year's. A lot of Thai dishes are eaten in Japan during New Year's. This is a chocolate shaped like a fish, maybe? It's chocolate either way, so I'm excited about that one. This is Pokemon sticker matching chewing gum. Now, I have no idea what this is about, but apparently you've got different pieces of gum, I guess, that you match up to the photo. I actually thought that these were Pokemon cards at first, like the way that they looked on the back, so. Interesting. Yokai Watch! Fortune Seal Namaste Curry! Look at them! They're kind of like uh, Funyuns or something, but they're apparently curry flavored. And they've got the uh, Yokai Watch characters on them, apparently giving you your fortune for the new year. So I can't wait to have my good fortune in this new year. I've had this before! This is the Pokemon themed chewing candy. Now it's not gum, it looks very much like gum, but it's not gum. It's actually a pineapple flavored chewing candy and the reason that this is popular in Japan is because it's impolite to to take the gum out of your mouth so they make it so that you can just it's like gum effect a little bit harder and you can just eat it so Pokemon themed chewing candy pineapple flavor Neru 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 ne. this is a DIY kit um, you apparently add water and it turns into some kind of like a, a puffy candy type of thing overnight so it says to set it overnight it's soda flavored um, I'm definitely not gonna be setting it overnight so I might just taste it in its like natural goo form which might not be very tasty but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway um, just because I am impatient and I don't want to have to wait all night just to taste this one so it's been popular for 30 years in Japan I'm gonna ruin it in about 10 minutes 
Pocky. Pocky, Pocky, Pocky. Every single one of these Japanese crates has a Pocky, I'm sure. This is apparently some kind of a winter only limited edition chocolate brand of Pocky. Um, I can't wait to taste it. It's apparently covered inside of cocoa as well. So it's chocolate and then covered inside of cocoa. So that should be very interesting to try. This is the Okaki Kyanlan candy. And the name itself, if you know what Okaki is, it basically is gonna make you create something out of this. So it's a DIY kit for sure. This is the DIY. I think you can actually create your own candy with this. <laughs> this one's actually a premium item and it's Choco Ball chocolate covered peanuts. So that's pretty simple sounding, but apparently they're very, very, very popular in Japan. Uh, they can be found just about anywhere, these Choco Ball chocolate covered peanuts. So I enjoy chocolate covered peanuts here. I think that I'll probably enjoy them when I try these too. They actually gave me a Pokemon themed monster collection uh, figure which I think, if I'm correct, these are kind of like Skylanders or Disney Infinity sort of thing where they actually can hook up to game consoles or, or something like that. Uh, some of them can. I'm not sure if this one can. But either way, I got a Pokemon character. Uh, Meloetta doing the pirouette form. Something like that. So I'm kind of excited about that one. It seems like it might be kind of rare. I don't know. It's sort of something unique to have in a candy box. And I'm... Very happy about that. Amazake. Sweet sake. Now this is apparently non-alcoholic sake and you're supposed to drink it warm as all sake is. Now I'm actually a fan of sake uh, so I think that I'll probably enjoy this. It's a non-alcoholic version. Um, it's kind of cold-ish now though so I'm gonna try to heat this up a little bit somehow uh, and see how it tastes when it's warm. But, but I'm really excited about trying this one. Uh, just because I want to see how a non-alcoholic sake might be from a can. That's kind of scary to me, but exciting at the same time. First up, I'm going to be trying out the Puku Fukutai chocolate. So, I'm kind of excited about this one, um, since it's so traditional for New Year's. Oh my goodness, it's, it's a big plastic package. So, oh my goodness! Oh, I've seen these! I've actually seen these um, uh, from like Gaki no Sky or a show like that where they were doing a, uh, a tasting thing and what they actually do, they have to like pour a batter in and they pour another batter in and they have a mold and they close it and it makes this like a, a fish thing. I didn't know that that's what that was but this is clearly the, um, the faux version of it because um, it's made out of wafer and not whatever the actual Fuku Fukutai stuff is, but it's a big wafer. It's look at how thick that is. I'm not having to bite into this. It smells kind of like um, sort of chocolatey, which is surprising to me. There's chocolate inside, I think. Mm. This would go good with coffee. Super, super, super light. So it's kind of dry, and that's why I say that it's good with coffee, because this is really dry to taste, but it tastes very good, very chocolatey-ish. So this is kind of a win for me. This is that rare Pokemon wafer. Well, I hope that it's rare. You have the chance of getting a rare Pokemon in it, so I'm kind of excited to see which one I get, which shape I get. I hope I didn't damage it by touching it. I can see already, as I open it, like wafer bits are falling, so... I might have squished it a bit. Oh! I got the famous cube Pokemon. No, let's see what I actually got. So I was under the assumption that it would have a Pokemon shape, because that's actually what it says in the magazine, that it'll be shaped like a Pokemon. But no, in fact, it just gives you a collectible sticker with a Pokemon on it. So this time, I've got number 28. Um, I think that I also said that there were only 24. Maybe that was the other wafer thing um, but this is number 28 and I think they definitely go higher than 28 uh, and it's Blaziken on there so that's kind of cool sticker to have actually and that's maybe a rare ish one this wafer on the other hand just looks like one of those um, one of those chocolate wafers that we have the long ones 
Mmm. There's lots of chocolate inside this one, too. But somehow it's not as good as the other wafer. I actually really preferred the other wafer better than this. Um, this one's pretty plain. Would probably also go very good with coffee. But I'm kind of happy to have this Blazy Ken different sticker. And look at it. It's like rainbowy, reflecty, you know, cool. I like it. This one I can't wait to try. This one is Ramune flavored, um, and it comes with an easy tearaway thing. I don't know if there's going to be different characters inside of this, um, but at the very same time, I kind of don't care because this is going to taste probably pretty good. Now, there's five different kinds. I'm going to open up every single kind to try to see which ones they are. Oh, they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. They're kind of like... Um, you Americans call them Smarties, Canadians call them uh, Rockets. Mmm. Whoa! Very strong. They're exactly like Smarties or Rockets, but these are really strong in flavor, like punch you in the face strong with flavor. At least that was the pineapple one. It was really strong. Ugh, this one tastes weird. It's the uh, the cola flavored, and it kind of tastes like one of those cola flavored gummies that you can find sometimes. But I don't know if it's because I'm getting older now. I used to like them when I was a kid. This just tastes like a flat soda. Like if you were to take Coke and leave it out all night and then drink it in well a solidified form anyway. This is. Um, kind of what this is like. It sounds disgusting and I don't like it. I, I really don't like the cola ones. Mm. Mm. That one's definitely the Ramune flavored one. Um, if you've been to any kind of like a convention or maybe an Asian market and you've got one of those bottles of uh, Ramune that they're, it's like the clear soda. That's exactly what this tastes like. It's very, very, very much like that in candy form, and it's actually kind of good. Can't wait for the fake grape. This, the grape, I haven't even tasted it yet. It already has kind of a um, medicine-y smell to it. Mm -mm. I'll be honest with you, I just don't like fake grape, and that's pretty bad. So of the five, I actually really enjoyed the pineapple one and the Ramune one. Those two were my absolute favorites. Um, the melon one really didn't have much of a taste whatsoever. The Coke one was absolutely flat and vile. And grape, I just don't like the fake grape. So that's how that one is. Yokai! This is actually going to be very fun for me to try. I can't wait. I'm actually probably out of the whole kit, most excited about trying this one. Oh my god, this smells exactly like ice cream in every way. I thought that it would just be vanilla-y, but no, it's like you can you can smell the sugar, you can smell the cream, you can smell the... Everything that goes into ice cream is currently inside of this little tiny bean-shaped thing. And it, you'd think that it would be kind of like a, a Cheeto or a, like a cheese puff, but it's really not puffy. It's super hard, um, at least to touch. So I'm going to try to eat it. The flavor is completely, completely different than the smell. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, or if I'm just missing the point. But these taste like caramel corn. Like, maybe it's just because the name is like that and it's kind of throwing my brain off. But these taste like caramel corn and smell like ice cream. Is that weird? Is that... Is that supposed to be how they are? These little bean things? <laughs> I'll be very honest with you. These are actually very good. I mean, three things that you love. Popcorn, caramel, ice cream. All in one. It's, it's actually kind of good. This one I'm very excited about because I've actually had them before. I know that I already like them a lot and I love habanero, so here we go trying them. So here they are, basically, a little tiny stringy tiny corn chip st style things. Mmm! 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 
Mmm. Mmm. Those are so good. And the heat hits you kind of after you put that whole handful in, in your mouth. At first, the flavor is just really, really good. Really, really good flavor. And the good flavor suddenly just changes and it's like hot and amazing. This is by far, so far, my favorite thing in the entire crate. Time to do the DIY kit. Comes with spoon, comes with pack. That's pretty basic. Uh, you mix the three packs together into this little bowl thing. You let it sit overnight and then you try the, the, uh, the taste. But of course, I'm not gonna wait that long like I said before. I'm gonna just jump ahead, mix it all together and then taste it right away. The flavor should be the same, just not the texture. So I'll keep that in mind when I'm tasting it. This whole little tub, this whole tub is filled right now with like a sugar. That was the first pack and I have two more packs to actually mix in. So for kids trying this, probably the most unhealthy thing you'll ever eat in your entire life. Okay, so I've mixed it together and right now it doesn't look very appetizing to me uh, because it hasn't had time to set. Um, so right now it's basically just a goo uh, on a spoon. Um, you're supposed to then mix it in with these tiny little, I don't know if you can see them, but they're tiny little uh, candy bits. So I'm just going to eat them together and see kind of how it is. So wish me luck. Like this is so sugary. This is pure sugar. Like, I knew that it was when I mixed the packages together, but you're not kidding. Like, you are eating, like, a, two two tablespoons of sugar in this, maybe three tablespoons of sugar in this, and then you cover it in these little candy bits? That's crazy. It is absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy sweet. Probably one of the sweetest things I have ever had in my life, and I'm not even exaggerating. Time to do the Winter Pocky! This one is going to be pretty exciting, I think. I can't wait to try it out um, because they are kind of coated and really honestly, the package shows a whole bunch of like really, really thick cocoa and even the, the Pocky that it shows have like a really thick layer of cocoa on them. But honestly, this is barely a dusting, like barely, barely, barely a dusting of cocoa. Um, I guess that's not really the point. It's Pocky either way. Tastes really, really good. Can't go wrong with Pocky. I am now going to try the Pokemon themed chewing candy pineapple flavor. They come with different kinds of Pokemon things all over. Ooh. Ooh, is this one special? Maybe not. There's one one in the entire pack that's kind of glossy and I was like, is this special? I don't know. But let's eat that one first in case it's some super rare Venusaur that you're not supposed to eat and you're supposed to collect. I just want to make sure to ruin the collector. I actually just broke these in half. Now, the last time I had these, they were soft enough and pliable like gum. These are like as hard as a rock. So I don't know if like maybe the, the store that they were gained from was, I don't know. It just seems a little bit iffy now that I was able to break gum in half without even bending it. Mmm. It's very much like a toffee flavor. I'm still chewing it. It's been ages. I can't stop chewing it! And yeah, for some reason it was a little bit harder than the last time I tried this candy. All in all, if you really enjoy pineapple flavors, Especially during the winter, you want to feel warm, you want to feel like the pina colada sort of effect. This is kind of the candy to have. It's toffee though. You can't really confuse it with gum. It's toffee all the way. Um, so if you like chewing on something like that, by all means, try it out. Sticker, matching, chewing gum. This is the one that I actually thought were the playing cards, but it's clearly not. So I'm going to open it now and I'm ruining the package. They have a tear seal on the back and it's not tearing at all. Um, it's completely useless. <laughs> Finally got it open, and... What is this? Oh, I totally get it! So this is the gum, it's very insignificant, like, look at how thin that is. I think I've seen paper actually thicker than this gum. But you get this sticker package, 
and you can actually unpeel all these little stickers. Each square is a different sticker. It doesn't really look like it, but let me just show you for example. Like, each square is a sticker, and you're supposed to put it together and I guess create that from that, possibly? Either way, that's kind of fun. It's a fun idea to sell stickers with a piece of gum just for the heck of it. I will try the gum, and look at this. It breaks apart as I'm trying to open it. That's not a good sign for the quality of this gum, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'll try the biggest unbroken piece. Is this gum? I think I just swallowed some. It looks like paper. It's the thickness of paper, and I think it actually tastes like paper. It's really... I mean, you could get this kit for the stickers. Do not try the gum. It is... I think it's toxic. Uh, like, I can feel my body saying, no, get it out, get it out, get it out. I kind of wish that they had just sent me the stickers alone and just left it at that. That would have made my day a lot better. Yokai Watch! Fortune Seal Namaste Curry! Now, this one is supposed to give me good fortune in the new year, apparently. I'll probably not be able to even read the fortune that it gives me anyway. So, I open up the package and inside is this little bag of curry uh, flavored rings and also a little tiny fortune. I think it's a sticker. I'm pretty sure that this is a sticker. Um, you get a little fortune and I can't read anything on the back, of course, uh, what my fortune might be. But it's kind of cool that it gives you this little sticker to add to your collection. Now these rings, they are actually a lot smaller than I thought they would be. But they're kind of like Funyuns or another kind of like an onion ring sort of thing. It's more puffed than anything else. But the, the smell alone, I, as soon as I open this bag, it's really, really, really strong curry smell. Whoa! The curry is so strong! This is actually like really, really strong curry. I think that if I, I could actually make a stir fry with this tonight because of how strong this curry is. I don't have to add my own curry at all. I just have to add these little rings and I've got curry for days. One ring per dish. That's how strong it is. If you really like curry, and I, I stress really like curry because it is strong. Um, you would actually probably really like these too. So now I'm about to open the Meloetta pirouette style figurine. Now my box is already a little bit opened I saw, but at least nothing seems to be damaged with it. Um, I can't kind of wait to get this open and see what it's all about. Ta-da! I'm actually kind of happy about this one. It does spin around somehow. There must be a better way to, to affix the character to the platform, but maybe not. If this is anything like Disney Infinity or Skylanders or something like that, then it probably is just supposed to sit on here. It would definitely be fun to collect more of these. So I'm about to try the Amazake Sweet Non-Alcoholic Sake. Now I did have it on a warming plate for a little while, opened of course, uh, so that it wouldn't explode. And I don't know if it's actually like actually warmed enough, but I don't know really how else you would warm this to make it kind of more tasty, but uh, the smell alone really smells like sake. Like if I didn't know better, I would say that this was definitely uh, alcohol. It almost has like a fermented smell to it, like a wine or a soy sauce or a, a vinegar or something like it's it's a very pungent smelling. I hope that the taste is better than it smells. Whoa, it really tastes like sake, but super sweet. It really tastes like you're drinking sake, but I keep cringing, you, you notice the eyebrows, the furrowing, because I just don't like the sweetness to it, you know? Oh, a keki, kian lan. Now this one is probably the most fun that I'll have all day, <laughs> because you actually get to kind of draw. So the way that this one works is that you have these little tiny molds, and you have these little candies that you can actually cut up, probably, and then push into the molds, and the third thing you've got is like I showed this little bucket and what I've done is I've already pre-mixed the colors some yellow got in my pink so you push the candies into the molds you take the colors and you can paint your little molded candies and eat it like that I'm going to choose the bear here comes the bear he 
You can see him making his appearance known. Yay, it's a bear, I think, possibly. And when I pull the candy out, of course, it looks sort of like a bear. It's, it's of course, still square on the sides from me pushing it in. If I had scissors, I could probably cut it and make it look really, really good. But I am now going to put the bear in his appropriate little uh, spot for painting. And let's see what I can come up with if this will actually look any good at all. I'm using the bottom end of the spoon because they also needed me to cut away the uh, painting knife and I didn't have a pair of scissors on hand so let's see how I can do. So here's my little bear you can see that he's got a very very adorable little uh, haircut some pink loving eyes <laughs> and a blue shirt so I'm gonna go ahead and taste it now I don't know if the individual dyes have specific tastes to them but they do have sort of different smells to them so maybe they taste different as well This is very hard to chew. That was actually almost too difficult to chew. I shouldn't have eaten such a big piece. Lesson learned is that you definitely, definitely, definitely have to cut these in half so that you can make one shape with only half of this because that was too much bubble gummy texture with like a gummy worm flavor. Not very good at all when I ate the whole thing, but it actually tasted uh, kind of fun and, and I know that kids would really like it. So with that, we are up to our last item. Now this one's the Choco Ball chocolate covered peanuts. I can't wait to try them, although I don't think that they're gonna be too different than chocolate covered peanuts that I've tried here. I mean, they look just like a chocolate covered peanut that I've had. Mmm. Mmm. I really, really enjoy chocolate covered peanuts. Like, this is very good. As simple as this one is, as funny as it sounds, this one is actually ranked pretty high out of the whole crate to me. This one tastes really good. Simple, good, chocolate covered peanuts. You can't go wrong with that really. So thank you guys for watching me taste test the whole Tokyo Treat box. You can check it out at tokyotreat.com and definitely subscribe for more of those kinds of unboxings. Can't wait to show off more of Tokyo Treat. For the price, I was actually really surprised at how many different things you got even from the smallest package that they offer so you should definitely check it out guys tokyotreat.com i want to thank them for sending me the crate we will see you next time bye Woo. why is my hair flipping that way how come <laughs>